bring Josh McKelvin from WMUR is down here on the floor. He has a question related to this. Thank you, John. Good evening, candidates. Governor Plenty, the possibility exists that New Hampshire could soon become the 23rd state to pass right to work legislation. Unions don't like it because they feel that making membership voluntary would weaken organized labor. You know, you've seen the protests in your home state of Minnesota. My question is, where do you fall on right to work and would you support a federal right to work law? We live in the United States of America and people shouldn't be forced to belong or be a member in any organization and the government has no business telling people what group you have to be a member of or not. I support strongly right to work legislation. I got one more thing, John. Like I said, for much of his life, my dad was a Teamster truck driver. My brothers and sisters, many of our in unions, I was in a union. We grew up in a blue collar town. I understand these issues. My family were Reagan Democrats. Now, most of them listen to Rush Limbaugh, actually. But uh, the point is, I understand these issues. But we don't have a government tell us what organizations or associations we should be in. We tell the government what to do. Mr. Speaker, I assume you agree, and as you come into the conversation, uh, one of the criticisms, you tell me whether it's fair or not, one of the criticisms has been as you watch some of these governors deal with this issue across the country, that some people say there's a tone about it, that they seem to be trying to demonize public employees or union workers. Well, that's a totally different question. The question that was asked was right to work. And one of the things the Congress should do immediately is defund the National Labor Relations Board, which has gone into South Carolina to punish Boeing, which wants to put 8,000 American jobs in South Carolina by fundamentally eliminating right to work at the National Labor Relations Board. Now, that's a real immediate threat from the Obama administration to eliminate right to work. And I think that it is fundamentally the wrong direction. I hope that New Hampshire does adopt right to work. I frankly keep it at the state level because as each new state becomes right to work, they send the signal to the remaining states, don't be stupid. Why, why would you want to be California's unemployment level when you could be Texas's employment level or North Dakota's? And I think having, the, if you believe in the Tenth Amendment, we ought to let the states learn from each other. And the right-to-work states are creating a lot more jobs today than the heavily unionized states. The public employee union question is a totally different issue. All right, maybe we'll come back to that. Mr. Kane, I want to let you in quickly on this one. As a businessman who says your strength in this campaign is someone who's created jobs, to the question of right-to-work. Yes, I do believe that the states should have the right. I believe in right-to-work. And I hope that New Hampshire is able to get it passed. And I agree with the speaker and the others who believe that if the federal government continues to do the kinds of things that this administration is trying to do through the back door, through the National Labor Relations Board, that's killing our free market system. And the free market system is what made this economy great. And we have to keep the free market system strong. A lot more ground to cover with our candidates tonight. We're about to take our first break of the evening.